When our eldest son, Ben, was born, we began researching schools. Research is what I do. I'm a professor and the chair of neurobiology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I study how experience shapes brain development. My reasoning was that a successful learning environment should be informed by what we know about brain development. What I learned about the world of education led me to enroll both our sons at the Waldorf School of Baltimore. What struck me on my first visit to the school is that the children were playing in the class and outdoors in all weather. At the children's garden and throughout eighth grade, I saw children engaged in structured play, gently guided by their teachers and in play led by their own imagination. Why would I want my children to play in school? Well, because play is essential for promoting cognitive, physical, social and emotional development. We know that play causes significant changes in the connections formed in the developing brain and that hundreds of genes are modified by play. Every single measure of successful development, including academic metrics, emotional measures, benefits significantly from play. Play is so important that the United Nations declared it a human right. World of education is stealthy. You think you're playing, but in fact you are learning through play. Most everything is taught through action and experience. The children learn the foundations of math through physical exercise, crafts, and even baking. They're introduced to more advanced math concepts and to coding by creating and manipulating complex three-dimensional origami structures. My son Ben, who's now a ninth grader at friend school, is ahead of his classmates in math as a result of these experiences. My youngest son, Max, was introduced to written language through activities that combine sights and sounds and through development of motor skills that are necessary for comprehending texts and for writing. This is how the brain best acquires skills, through creating a foundation of skills and gradually adding to them layers of more complex abilities. One of my favorite examples of how this works is in the main lesson books that the students create. Our students literally write and illustrate their own textbooks. This makes total sense since we know that active learning is much more effective than passive learning. I even encourage my medical students, many of whom went from K to college with their nose stuck to a passive digital device, to take handwritten notes using their own words and to illustrate these notes with drawings of parts of the brain they're studying or with diagrams of biochemical reactions. They often find this immensely helpful. As a brain scientist, and more importantly, as a dad to two amazing boys who benefited from this school, I encourage you to learn more about Waldorf School of Baltimore. And I most certainly encourage you to support the mission of this gem of a school.